When working inside of Illustrator, it's important to remember that things that you create in Illustrator are automatically packaged inside the .ai file. Things that you bring in from outside sources are not automatically packaged inside the file, so you have to adapt and figure out how to make sure that they are all embedded in there and can be sent to somebody else. So let's talk about, about what those resources are and aren't. So for example, you see this graphic I've made over here on the left hand side of a test tube, a, of a beaker, excuse me. You can see that it's been drawn in here. I've got little circles and things have got fills. All of those things, because they were created inside of Illustrator, are automatically packaged inside the file. Cool. The stuff on this page that isn't packaged would be my fonts. So over here, for the word questions, I'm using a font called Bitter Black. That comes from Adobe Fonts, which is a web font that I have activated and used here inside my Illustrator. Now, I know that not everybody on the planet has that particular font installed or activated through Adobe. So how do I ensure that those other people can see what I've got here? Well, I do that by embedding the font or what we call outlining the text. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate this layer because sometimes you might want to come back and change something and I like to make sure that I've got an original to work with. So select that layer and I want you to just grab and drop it down here on that little plus icon and you'll see that you've got it duplicated. I'm going to turn my original off and select the new one. Now with this new one selected, come up to the upper left hand corner of your screen, click on edit, oops, excuse me, click on object, and then come down to expand. That is going to make it turn into paths. Okay, and just accept the defaults and click OK. So now you see all these little points that are happening here? I have my direct selection tool, the white arrow, selected, and that's why you can see all these little points. Let me get in here a little bit closer. So what this means is that if I wanted to, I could select one of these points and I could drag it because it's like a live shape if you've ever used Photoshop, okay? But I'm going to um, get out of that. So with this turned into something that looks like you made it inside of Illustrator, this font and all the beauty of it will now be shipped off to somebody else. When this file gets to somebody else, they are not going to be able to edit this font per se. You know, they wouldn't be able to go up and grab the text tool and change the font family and then start typing. So you just have to be aware of that. This is for people that need to view the file only, okay, like your instructor. So make sure that you have this taken care of before you send your files to me, otherwise there will be a slight deduction in your scores. Okay guys, thank you very much. Have a great day.